Yeah, the pillows don't have pillowcases on them yet. Hey Vapors, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my monthly favorites for the month of June 2018. Plus, I'm going to tell you where the heck I am. And if you want to see a more in-depth video about where I am right now, I'm going to be doing a first weekend in Seattle kind of story time vlog on my other channel. I will leave a link below to that as well, but my other channel is youtube.com slash WTFOMG Tia, or you can type in Tia Michelle. And that's where I do videos that are non-vape related. I haven't uploaded there in a while, but I am going to do a my first weekend at the Ronald McDonald House vlog type story time narrative for that channel. But anyways, let's get into it. So June is officially the last full month of me not vaping. If you don't already know, I am over eight months pregnant right now. So I will be giving birth to Doug and I's son this month in July. I actually got my induction date today over at my appointment at the University of Washington Medical Center where I will be giving birth to our son. So if you don't follow me on social media, you might not know that I had to relocate here a few weeks before my induction just in case of preterm labor because where I live, the hospital is definitely not equipped to birth and take care of a child like mine who has a severe congenital heart defect, hence my red and blue awareness ribbon for congenital heart defects, and then my little my little heart with an L on it that my sister-in-law Whitney got for me. L is for Lucas, and that is going to be his name. And I've got a little heart pillow there too that my mom got for me. So, and like I said, I just moved in on Friday, so pillowcases. They're, they don't, they didn't provide pillowcases, so I'm gonna get some of my own. Anyways, let's jump into it. If you wanna learn more about the relocation and everything, I will have a full vlog over on my other channel, which I already said, I'm kind of not on track because one, pregnancy brain, and two, I don't really have any notes written out, and usually I do, but I'm here like trying to get settled in for a very long stay. So anyways, this month of July, I am obviously not vaping up until my induction, but once my son is born, I'm going to be vaping again. And I'm so excited, which means July favorites, I'll actually be able to give you my favorites and my opinions, whereas these last eight months have been other people's opinions, like fan favorites, that's what I've been doing. So, favorites for June. For e-liquid, definitely have to go to the Dollar E-Juice Club. I did a part seven, which I think is the longest or second longest, or maybe equal to the longest e-liquid series parts that I've done, I think the other company that I've done seven parts for is You Got E-Juice, but I also have done seven parts for the Dollar E-Juice Club because it's just such good e-liquid and they have such good flavors and such good prices. But the number one for the month of June, I would have to say goes to White Label. Just being able to smell those and how good my sister, who isn't a, um, e-cig vapor she's a different type of vapor if you know what i mean which i'll link below to her channel too if you want to check it out if you're 21 or older um she did a guessing so she did it blind like she didn't know what she was tasting and she almost guessed the flavors completely spot on so that to me says that those flavors are super good because someone who doesn't normally do this day to day was able to tell you exactly almost exactly what they were and again i did get to smell them and they were so so amazing and I did keep a few to try when I can vape again and that's another thing I wanted to address is I the two main questions that I've gotten through my pregnancy with vaping is one are you vaping while pregnant are you smoking while pregnant and I'm not I'm choosing not to and that questions asked in a negative light like people are like oh why are you doing this while you're pregnant well if you watch my channel you'd know that i have not been vaping and then the other question that i get is from people saying well why don't you just vape zero nicotine it's not bad well i normally vape zero nicotine anyway i've weaned myself off in the last five years of doing this of vaping that i don't need nicotine anymore but i had chose not to put anything extra into my body that i didn't need while i was pregnant so that included vaping 
escaping. It was a personal choice that I chose and it may or may not be um, bad when you're pregnant. If you're pregnant and vaping, that's your thing. I am pregnant and chose not to vape, so that's out of the way. And then for my favorite hardwares or the fan favorites, I guess, would have to go to two devices that are wildly popular, not um, the, these devices specifically, but in general, like the category of pod mods, which have become wildly popular, and the category of squonk mods, which have also become wildly popular in the last nine months or so while I haven't been vaping. So the pod mod of my choice, which I haven't tried it, but I'm going to have saved all of the pod mods that I've looked at with guests over the last nine months. And well, I say nine, but it's really, eight in some. The IQ 3 SEC by Hangson looks like it would be my favorite. It's very aesthetic and I am very much an aesthetic person and also, but I have many that I want to try so I'm going to try all of the pod mods together in a video for you guys and give you my favorite out of that or multiple favorites because let's be honest there's a ton. I think I have like 15 sitting over on my desk right now. And then my favorite or fan favorite squonk mod is the USV Mach 1. This lighting, I'm sorry you guys, I'm, I'll try to fix it before I film the vlog for the other channel. Sorry, I'm getting off topic. I just, I can see myself in the viewfinder and it's like brightness from the window and my my little lighting here is not doing a very good job, but I'm like, this is what I got for now until my husband can bring some more stuff over for me because I am going to be here for quite a while. Anyways, the Mach 1 awesome squonk kit. Comes with almost everything you would need to start squonking. It, I think the only two things it doesn't have is batteries, which doesn't usually normally come in a kit anyway, and cotton. So I think those are the two things that the kit is missing. Otherwise, you get that and you are set to jet with the squonking kit. <laughs> Not to mention it's like a hybrid squonker, I guess, which I'm gonna have to look more into that because squonking isn't really my realm. RDA's not my realm, but it's like a special type bottle to, I think, uphold and like not wear out from all the squeezing, all the squonking, you know? So, super easy, super quick, because I didn't do a lot of videos in this last month of June because I've been moving, I moved out of my mom's house and into my, if you follow me on social media, you'd know this. Moved out of my mom's house with my husband into my grandma's house, been dealing with permits to get the house building going. They actually want to break ground this week, which would be really exciting, um, even though I'm over here for probably until next year. Again, all the details of that will be in the vlog video, but on my other channel. But that's it for this video. I just wanted to come on and tell you guys like the things that I would probably be absolutely loving had I been vaping. And so that's it for the video. I'll leave a link below to my Patreon account where I do vape related monthly rewards over there. I'll also leave a coupon code or just say it, TIA20 for 20% off your order at bonsaivapor.com to get my very first flavor, Cloud Kiss, which came out in June as well. We did pre-order in May but it officially launched in June and it's been doing so awesome so if you want to use a coupon code and get 20% off TIA20 and it's a non-expiring code I'm pretty sure you can use it as many times as you want so go ahead and try my flavor and if you've tried it already please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of it because I'm super excited to be able to all day vape it because I've only ever did a little taste test of like a day's worth of taste test and then I, you know, I'm not vaping, so I haven't vaped any more of it and I cannot wait to vape more of it. I also can't wait to do my next monthly favorites for July because it'll actually have some of my opinion because I'll be able to vape the last few weeks of July. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check the description box below for links to where to find me outside of YouTube, like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please Please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.